Hi, Olivia Boudram here bringing you another edition of Health Before Travel, the channel that helps you to think about your health before your next trip. Today we are going to be talking about this channel. I want to give you some background into how this whole idea of this channel evolved. I love to travel. I have always loved traveling. I've been traveling since I was a kid and that has just sort of stayed in me and probably is in my blood that I just continue to want to always be going somewhere and experiencing something new and exciting. And I guess you could say that a lot of people have sort of know me as that person who's always traveling. I think the number one question that I get asked when I'm met by my friends and family is, when's your next trip, Olivia? That's just who they know that I am. I know that they, they just know that I've already planned another trip at some point. So who is Olivia Boudram? Let me give you an idea into my background. I'm a nurse and I worked in a travel immunization clinic. And this gave me an opportunity to talk to people about their travel plans. I would counsel them on vaccinations that were necessary for the areas they were going to, prescriptions required, any medications, any precautions that they needed to take while they were there. And it also was an opportunity for us to talk about their experiences with travel and I would really share mine with them. And well, like I said, I just love talking about travel, so that was such an easy conversation. My second career that I um, got into as well was insurance planning. <laughs> as an insurance planner, I look after people and help them with their wealth, you know, to make sure that that is secure and taken care of. So on one hand, I was helping people preserve their health and on the other, I was helping them to preserve their wealth. So I guess when you put the two of them together, I created this unique experience that I was able to share with other people. And it wasn't too long before I slipped into the role as a travel insurance specialist. I had a very good idea about the travel insurance plans out there, the different companies, um, dealing with high risk people, people who had um, a pre-existing condition and people who were on medications and just having a better idea and a good idea as to which companies would cover them and you know, are they insurable. So it was just a great mix and I, gotta tell you i just love that i again it's travel i it's it's anything about travel so that's that was how that happened there was one other thing i wanted to tick off my bucket list and that was to learn spanish and so i decided to take a sabbatical to spain for three months and immerse myself in the culture and in the language and i thought that this would be the best way that i could learn how to speak spanish did i learn how to speak spanish muy poquito but when I really did need to know my Spanish was when I yelled, Ayuda! Necesito una ambulancia pronto! <laughs> I needed an ambulance quick because I was sick. I mean, I was really sick. I was rushed to the hospital and emergency surgery done on a perforated appendix. It was a scary, scary, scary moment for me. Um, I'm in a country, I'm there by myself, uh, unfamiliar surroundings, unfamiliar language, and no family there either. So it was a very terrifying experience. Well, maybe not so terrifying. Nothing like having a good looking doctor to sort of make you sort of sit up and sort of make yourself look better and just, Try your hardest to look as presentable as possible, even though you probably look like crap, right? Anyways, I gotta tell you though, that the one thing that um, was muy, muy importante is that I actually had travel insurance. And I can't even imagine lying there and thinking about my own health and what was happening to me and, and, that, and, and then having to worry about finances as well. They paid for my ambulance, they paid for my tests, they paid for my surgery, they paid for my um, stay in hospital. I ended up staying two weeks. But the most important thing that they did and covered, and it was a huge benefit, was they brought my husband. And that's, and that's a benefit that you can't put a price on. 
that's uh, having somebody there and a loved one that can be there for you and speak on your behalf, look out for you and be there and support you. So my entire trip from the time that I was admitted until I was discharged and flown back to Canada and my husband as well, cost 35,000 Canadian dollars. I don't know. I don't know anybody who would want to have to pay that out of their pocket. And there I was in a situation that it just came um, out of my control. I actually started writing this blog and um, it's helped me tremendously on so many different um, ways. I've had a lot of great feedback from that. But one of the things that people kept asking me was, do you have a video? I was like, a video? Like, do I have a video? I have a blog. But um, they were like, they, they were like, um, you should probably do a video. And my daughter, Shannon Boudram, who actually has a YouTube channel, was my greatest inspiration. She coached me, she's talked to me, she encouraged me to do this. And um, as well as watching videos from Marie Forleo, Shameless Maya, Sean Cannell, Roberto Blake, um, to name a few of the videos that I have been watching over the last while, just to get an idea as to how to do these videos. So that is why this channel was created. It was created for you. And I am so looking forward to our journey together. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit the little bell that's beside the subscribe button because that will give you an alert that I've just uploaded a video. Thank you for watching. I'm so happy I got to share a little bit about myself today. Bye for now and don't forget, think health, stay healthy before your next trip.